Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Before I get into this week's stories, I just wanted to announce that next week we will be at the AUVSI Exponential uh, Conference in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's all things unmanned, land, air, and sea. Now we are most interested in the air portion, of course, but let us know if you plan to be there in the comments below. We would love to meet up with you. All right, let's jump into this week's stories. In early February, we reported that DJI sent out a notice to discontinue the Inspire 2. This drove speculation that they were getting ready for an Inspire 3 launch. Other rumors seemed to confirm this idea, including a leaked list of DJI products that showed a slated release date for September of this year. Well, new photos leaked by Twitter user at DealsDrone claim to show the wreckage of a crashed DJI Inspire 3 prototype. One standout detail is that the drone has foldable propellers, which the Inspire 1 and 2 don't have. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can speculate from these photos, but it does support that theory that we might see a new Inspire drone later this year. As with all DJI leaks, I'm sure uh, we will hear more as we approach the launch date. Next up, GoPro has launched a new camera made specifically for FPV or first person view drones. It's called the GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones. And it's the first camera GoPro has made that is to be either strapped or soldered onto your drone. The camera's incredibly stripped down. It has no waterproofing, no screens, no speakers. Fun fact, drone pilots were already cutting their GoPros in half to increase the drone's battery life, which is why GoPro decided to make this product. It's pretty cool to see GoPro entering the Cinewoop game with a camera specifically designed for an FPV drone. Okay, finally, a new report from Bloomberg details major obstacles for Amazon's drone delivery program. According to this report, there have been five crashes over four months at a testing site, which makes it sound like their delivery technology is still a little ways from being viable. In one of the crashes, both safety fail-safes failed, no pun intended, and the drone, and I quote, dropped about 160 feet in an uncontrolled vertical fall and was consumed by fire. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, Pendleton Airport. Uh, so this is a drone operation that is operating um, just west of the runways. Uh, it landed in the uh, wheat field, and the heat of the aircraft caught the start of the fire. Okay, so it's in the field, and what is on fire? Uh, it is an unmanned aircraft. Yikes. Other issues like high turnover and potential safety issues also surfaced in the report. So it looks like you might have to wait a little longer to start getting your Amazon deliveries by drone. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Again, next week is AUVSI Exponential in Orlando. We look forward to uh, reporting uh, to, to let you know what we see. Um, let us know in the comments if you plan on going. Thanks for watching. And to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.